With practice it self check 7.15 print backwards, we're going to write a method called print backwards and it prints an array of integers in reverse order. So if we have the following format, we are going to have the following printed out. So we'll make it a public um, type uh, function. It's going to return nothing, just print. So it's going to be type void. It's called print backwards and it's going to be taking an array of integers as its parameter. So we'll do int and we'll call this a R R. So this is our header for this. Now inside of here, we want to read from our back and then go to the front. And this is actually really simple. So normally when we go into a for loop and we want to go through this, we start at like int a is equal to zero and we run it for the entire length of our array. Well, if we want to start at the back, why don't we set our first variable equal to the ARR dot length. So we're going to get the length, but remember, since we're actually working with indexes, really in indexes, it's length minus one. So index, the amount of indexes in here is equal to length minus one. So this is going to be our first thing. And we're going to, we're actually going to want to decrement this. So we're going to want to run this until we get to the zeroth index. So if this is like, let's say the fourth index, we're going to want to run it down until the zeroth index. So we're going to run this as long as a is greater than or equal to because we actually want to go to this index um, greater than or equal to zero. And then we're going to just have a minus minus because we're decrementing. Now inside of our for loop, we're just going to want to simply print right every single time. So system dot dot print line and inside of here, we first want to print um, a string element. And we'll have our bracket. And then we're going to append to this the index. So our current index would be a here. We are going to append to this a another bracket. We'll have a space is space. We're going to append to this the element here. To get the element, we're just going to do ARR, our current index, and we can end this line. We can close off our function, press submit, and see what we get. And we pass four out of four tests. So that's the code that I would use to solve this self-check problem.